hello everyone hi what is up it's me angie welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today appreciate you being here so today's video is going to be very exciting it's gonna be a quick one but i am finally going to be listening to field trip from melanie martinez because i totally missed that song when i was listening to the after school ep i actually missed it because i was having such issues with the camera during that video but today i'm finally going to be listening to field trip with you guys today if you would like to subscribe i would really appreciate that give us a thumbs up if you've yet to do that already i do upload two three times a week so if you'd like to come back and hang out with me every wednesday saturday and sometimes on mondays i'd love for you to do that but either way i just appreciate being here giving me your time and your view i also have a patreon if you'd like to check that out it's in the description below where these videos are up earlier and extended um but either way if you'd like to just hang out with me today and watch this video here on youtube that's for free that's totally fine with me i appreciate you just being here but yes if you have yet to see my after school ep video i'll leave that up in the eye for you guys to check out i did listen to all the songs and i actually skipped song seven field trip because I'm having lots of issues but definitely go check out that video first if you have yet to see that but yeah let's check out field trip let's just get into it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. It says for this verse, the annotation is unreviewed on Genius, but it says Melanie, like every artist, gets haters. They spend their time on their screens making fun of her when she doesn't even see why they're caring so much about tearing her down. Talking to a brick wall just gives me headaches. There's no point in, in responding to that stuff. Yeah, it seems like kind of a song referencing her haters and, and media and tabloids or whatever and, and she's kind of saying like, yeah, you, you can yell at me on your screen while I'm just going to continue to be the bigger person and send love to you. There's no reason to waste energy on that and by the way, we are not even our bodies, we're just energy. She has this belief. We're really just our, our souls, which I think is such an interesting and, and unique and beautiful belief. She really references her spiritual beliefs that aren't determined by our physical bodies, rather our spirits and inner selves matter more. In the album's accompanying film, Crybaby addresses the same message after Orange Juice. Yes. I know something I've learned about our bodies. They don't define us. We aren't our bodies. They're just temporary. I know it seems impossible, but, but try not to expect shallow people to love you. They don't even have the capacity to understand how amazing you are. And we all have to learn how to love ourselves without the approval of others. So beautifully said. <laughs> <laughs> oh whoa she just went off there okay trying to bring the mystical into material bitch i'm an 11 life path i'm ethereal huh fuck it up you get it let's get deep if not i'll dip i'll be riding solo on my field trip melanie wants something more than a minute conversation so if they don't get deep she'll just leave and venture on her life as usual huh so the song is about not caring about what people think about her, about you and wanting to have deep conversations <laughs> Okay, what a song. It seems like she had a lot to say here and a lot for her to say to maybe people that 
were criticizing her. It feels like a song where she just wanted to get things off her chest about about being authentic and woke and people maybe talking about her mixed heritage and things like that. Yeah, it seems like this is a song really just trying to get across a lot of things that she had maybe been hearing and feeling from people that, you know, maybe don't have the nicest thing to say about her, maybe like haters and things like that. It seems like Melanie has, has such a clear understanding of herself in her mind. She knows who she is. She's very like firm in her stance about who she is and very firm in her in her beliefs and things like that, which is very unwavering in, in, in believing what she believes in, you know, which is so, so beautiful. Like, and it, and so rare, I think, for a lot of people to have that unwavering kind of confidence in yourself. She says, I'd be riding solo on my field trip. And she's okay with that. I think that that unwavering confidence of like, fine, if you don't want to get me, like, I'm, I'll am i be chill by myself. I'll be, I'll be solo on my field trip. That's so like powerful because I think a lot of people, including myself, would think of, I don't want to be alone. So maybe I will conform what I think and what I believe to kind of fit in with everyone else's thinking maybe, you know? Like I think it's very easy to like want to fit in and and it, it go with the majority because it just is easier. And Melanie is very just, just so sure of herself. She just trusts herself. That trust is so great. I know I have issues with myself and trusting myself and and confidence in myself and my decisions if, and what I'm doing is right or wrong. And Melanie doesn't have that issue, which is so, so rare and so beautiful to see. On Field Trip, a breezy snapback with instrumentals reminiscent of her 2015 song, Pacify Her, Melanie references their Hispanic heritage and, so, and shows off her zodiac signs. As she ventures off on their field trip, Melanie wants to be accepted for who they really are. Wow so so cool what a great song it says what did Melanie Martinez say about field trip it says field trip is a more personal song about some of the intricacies of who I am as a human being an empath a life path 11 bridge between the divine and the material the duality in my triple Taurus and triple Scorpio placements the contrast between what my mother was going to name me when I was in the womb Katarina pure light and what she ended up naming me the minute I was born Melanie darkness and also a reminder that whatever Im imagery box people put me in, I will always find a way out. Ah, oh, that is so awesome. Just to ha again, to have that confidence and hey, honey, <laughs> and to just believe in yourself so much like that. It's so cool, isn't it, P? I look up to that. Um, hi, <laughs> P. I look up to that that confidence and, and unwavering in yourself and who you are. That's really awesome to see. Anyway, me and Panini are gonna get going. We're gonna get going. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up before you go as Panini plays with her toy. And check out my Patreon if you'd like to. Again, it's always linked in the description. Yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.